Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. And now we're joined over the phone by Engineer Amin Shinawi. She is member of the Civil Society and International Service Organization and a chemical engineer. Good afternoon, uh, Engineer uh, Amin. Good afternoon. This is Amani. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. yes. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. So, uh, Engineer Amani, uh, can you uh, talk to us more as uh, the role of women in civil uh, society and international service uh, organizations and also in, uh, on the local, here in, in the local field? Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. So can you, I'm talking about the role of uh, women in building the society in general and in participating in civil society and service organizations. Can you shed more light on this? Uh, in Egypt, we have uh, uh, half the society is uh, women, yes. and uh, women are very active. Mm. So um, women are participating in uh, all the roles uh, due to the equity and inclusion of everyone, yes. uh, including the social service and the volunteer service. Um, we have uh, uh, a lot of uh, active uh, women uh, in all uh, fields, uh, starting from the administrative fields in the, the, the volunteer uh, area, uh, to the community assessment, to the, the, the working on the projects um, uh, on fields, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, um, and also uh, following up the project uh, so that uh, uh, the development project uh, become uh, sustainable ones and uh, uh, don't stop uh, uh, the uh, development. So, uh, Engineer Amani, there is a clear also superiority of women in the field of sports and uh, they succeed in achieving many international uh, championships. Uh, what's your say on this? Uh, this is true. Uh, women are uh, keen in Egypt uh, to, uh, for uh, making the roles. Um, we have uh, a very uh, good uh, uh, pillar in this uh, area. It's the mother at home, the mother who encourages her uh, kids, um, the boys and the girls, uh, to have their training and uh, to participate in the uh, sports and in the competitions. Uh, girls are doing a great effort and uh, earning uh, very uh, uh, good uh, uh, positions in the, the field of uh, sports uh, because they are always keen to uh, do their training and uh, develop uh, their skills. Yes, uh, Engineer Amani, also if we uh, talk about uh, uh, President of Fatah al-Sisi and uh, how he cares about Egyptian women and we uh, saw that in the past uh, few years uh, the President have honored women by giving them more rights. Uh, how do you see this? Uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has a very uh, intelligent uh, initiative. It's called uh, Decent Life or Haya Karima. Yes. Uh, inside this initiative, we have uh, a lot of women empowerment projects uh, that help women uh, earn their bread and uh, uh, succeed in uh, their, uh, their careers uh, due to vocational service and vocational training. Uh, we have uh, in Egypt in general uh, the, the Council of uh, Women, uh, which has a large uh, impact on uh, women empowerment and uh, uh, in uh, taking care of uh, women projects and on their uh, uh, having uh, uh, their rights and their uh, equity uh, in, uh, in uh, their creative projects. Yes. Uh, there are a lot of projects that uh, go into incubators, helping women uh, by uh, mentoring and by uh, uh, funding. The funding too is very important and it's a very important uh, initiative by the Ministry of Social uh, Solidarity uh, that gives the women uh, a lot of uh, support. 
Yes, Engineer Amani, also women have a clear influence and she uh, has also many seats in uh, parliaments. Um, uh, how uh, do you see the increase in the representation and the increase in number of women within the parliament in general? The uh, number of women uh, and of active uh, women is uh, increasing due to the support uh, and uh, taking care of uh, women's uh, health and education uh, of her uh, vocational service and uh, well-being. Uh, so the uh, number of active women uh, is uh, increasing uh, all the time uh, and uh, uh, doing a lot of production in Egypt. Yes, also, uh, in your opinion, what are the challenges that still face uh, uh, Egyptian women in rural areas? Uh, Egyptian women in rural areas, maybe they have a lot of challenges in um, uh, having their education, um, but uh, uh, due to our initiative, the presidential initiative of yeah. Haya Karima, now we're having a lot of schools built in rural areas. We have uh, also a very important uh, factor uh, that uh, makes women there connected, which is our uh, fiber network, uh, which is very fast and uh, it allows women to uh, be educated uh, uh, online and uh, have their uh, social training and uh, their uh, vocational training uh, and uh, their connection and being connected to the uh, e-market uh, so uh, now uh, a lot of uh, women in the rural areas uh, um, can work uh, online and can uh, be connected. Also, uh, schools are built there and uh, uh, health care units for uh, taking care of their health. And always we talk in developing uh, human beings uh, about their education and health. These, these are the two most important factors. Uh, that determine the, the development of uh, human beings and, of course, of uh, women. And uh, as um, Engineer Amani, how far Egypt has made progress in gender equality and women's empowerment and amended legislation which guarantees full equality and equal opportunities in a way that lead to supporting their influential participation in social activities along with securing their protection against all forms of violence. Uh, equity is one of uh, Egypt's uh, goals of uh, 2030 and we're uh, going uh, into uh, very big uh, steps towards equity and towards having uh, women equal in all opportunities, including salaries, including uh, education. Uh, women uh, now are working in uh, all fields. Um, uh, even there were uh, some fields that uh, uh, were uh, not uh, uh, taking care of women, uh, uh, like the, uh, the and the, the, the pilots, we have now uh, women pilots, uh, we have uh, women in the army, we have women uh, in all uh, fields. And this is one of our main uh, uh, factors in our uh, culture, the Egyptian culture since long ago, the Pharaonic culture, uh, we had uh, women uh, who were always empowered, who were uh, queens. Uh, in some eras, uh, this uh, uh, empowerment was less, but now it's going back and it's going higher than ever, uh, where women are always feeling the equity uh, at home, at work, at the streets, everywhere in Egypt. Yes, uh, one final uh, question. Uh, the National Council for Women was reconstituted as the national mechanism concerned with empowering Egyptian women and achieving gender equality. What are the roles, the competences, assignments entrusted to the Council in order to achieve comprehensive empowerment of women? Uh, if we uh, uh, follow up the activities of the, women, of the Egyptian Women Council in the past years, we can find that uh, 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 the Council is supporting all what matters for women, uh, creative projects. We have very creative projects that were supported by the Women Council and uh, made a great impact on the society, uh, and they are created by women. 
Um, so the Women's Council is very important for supporting women and made uh, great impact on the society and on uh, uh, the work uh, force in Egypt. Yes, I'd like to thank you, Engineer Amani Shinnawi, a chemical engineer, member of the civil society and international service organizations. Uh, thank you for being with us. Sadie, viewers, show break, and we'll be back. So stay tuned. Thank you.